We bring in RBC Capital Markets analyst Rob Breza. Rob is one of the most accurate forecasters of Oracle stock, according to Bloomberg data. Rob, glad to have you with us this morning. Thanks for joining us. How likely is it that the suit works? I mean, how credible are these anti-competitive claims? Well, I think the, the suit is definitely have, uh, you know, less merit in the state of California relative to, to other lawsuits. And, you know, we think ultimately um, what will happen is Oracle will probably end up paying some monetary result uh, to HP, roughly Mark left with $35 million in compensation. Uh, so a good ballpark figure would be to think they would capture about half of that back. Uh, but as far as just worries about how many trade secrets Mark Hurd could actually take to Oracle, I mean, is this Ellison's way of just stoking the fires as we know he can do? He definitely likes to stoke the fires, as you said, and clearly Mark is a proven executive. He's shown great, uh, a great track record at not only NCR and HP. Uh, clearly he can bring a, a tremendous amount of value to Oracle, specifically with the integration of Sun. So he has a great track record. Investors uh, approve of him from an operating perspective. So he will definitely bring a lot to Oracle. Uh, the question in here in the short term is how quickly and how fast with the integration of Sun really taking effect this quarter, which in our opinion has been showing very good improvement throughout the quarter uh, since they acquired it. The integration track record of Mark Hurd with Oracle really brings a lot to Oracle and to investors. All right. So, Rob, it seems like you, you clearly see it as a net positive if and when Hurd becomes uh, an acting chair or rather uh, in his new role there at Oracle. But one thing I'm curious about, do you think that this sets up at all for Mark Hurd to one day take the place of Larry Ellison? That, that clearly could be a, a likely scenario that plays out. I think, you know, Mark has a great track record, very good experience. Uh, Larry has kind of held uh, a two president position for a long, long time. Uh, they're close friends. I think uh, Larry has tracked his career. Uh, they actually are very good friends. They play tennis together. Uh, and they, there's a mutual respect there, not only from a partnership perspective that they've had over the last five years. Uh, so clearly, I think Larry does believe in Mark, and uh, it's a very likely scenario that he would become the CEO someday. But, I mean, we have to assume as well, I mean, Allison, uh, Ellison, rather, is a smart businessman. He wouldn't have just invited a tennis buddy on board unless he thought he could add value to his shareholders. True. And I think, you know, Mark's track record has shown that HP, uh, you know, clearly uh, he, he drove revenues up significantly, cost downs, ultimately for investors. You know, the cash flows kind of proved themselves out over time. And Oracle clearly can use his expertise in, in the Sun integration, overall driving revenues and partnerships. So I think, you know, as we look at the overall tech world and how it's kind of dividing up, uh, Oracle is in a great position to kind of lead kind of the next generation of an integrated systems approach. Rob, thanks very much for the time.